We're talking meat sweats today, okay? So, well, I think you're talking about brisket. Okay, yeah. well, sort of. Okay. <laughs> the one thing that I'll hear is, hey, I've been cooking my brisket, it's stopped at 165 degrees, and you know what, I need this thing to get to 200, and I gotta feed people in the next two hours. What do I do? Well, you can't feed them in two hours. But if you understand that a brisket, especially if you're cooking at 225, it's gonna slow down. It's gonna mm -hmm. stop cooking around 165, mm -hmm. and it's gonna stop, and that's called a stall. happens between 160 and 165. So the theory that I like, and I've actually kind of proved it a little bit uh, in testing, is that evaporative cooling. The brisket's going through a phase change, mm -hmm. just like a pond when it flips, yep. you know, cold water switching with hot water. Well, mm -hmm. the same thing's happening with the brisket. All the moisture that's inside the brisket's wanting to go outside. Mm -hmm. You've got this nice bark, and mm -hmm. the bark is developed by drying the meat. Really, that's that's the way, that's the only thing that develops that bark. Once that moisture starts coming out, it's gonna keep coming out until it reduces down to a level where the heat mm -hmm. can get back in and can penetrate. I like wrapping. Uh, I do a paper wrap, I'll do foil wrap. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a foil wrap as well. It's just blocking the uh, moisture from coming in contact with the cold air or the cooler air. Let's talk about what we're trying to accomplish here overall because with the cooking it open in the open, right, is, is to get the bark on it, right? But then what the other attribute that you want the most in meat is moisture. Okay, that's the number one thing. It's dried, it sucks. It's got moisture, it's awesome, right? And so then you wrap it to get maximum moisture. So you got maximum bark, right? It's smoke ring, and then you've got maximum moisture. Wrapping it is essential. It's going to speed the process. It's going to stop the stall, and you'll be able to feed your guests on time as long as you plan for it. Remember, briskets take 12 to 14 hours minimum, no matter if you're hot and fast or low and slow. It's 12 to 14 hours. Plan for it. Plan a lot of beer for it as well. Practice makes perfect with the Art of Great Barbecue. Whether you're looking for inspiration for your next barbecue event, from recipes to rubs, meats, or even craft sausages, we've got you covered at barbecueathome.com.